Mary Dawn with MD's Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my virtual happy hour here at MD's Gin Mill channel live on Facebook and streaming live on YouTube. So what are you drinking? It's Monday, it's happy hour, what are you drinking? Now, you know, you don't need a groundhog. You don't need any of that to tell you it's spring. You know what you need? A cat. That's right, a cat. You need a cat to tell you it's spring because your cat loses its winter coat everywhere, sheds everywhere. So that means when the cat starts shedding, it is rosé season you guys so that's what i'm drinking today a little rosé all day for springtime let's check in with miss judy gannon and see if her cat is shedding hi judy hi how are you i'm good is your cat I, shedding i don't have a cat to shed <laughs> i didn't think so is your dog shedding yeah a little bit <laughs> does that happen every year this is my first year with the kind of cat thing you know Ah, okay. Well, I have a short-haired dog, so it's really not too bad anyways to begin with. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm good. But I do remember the day of the cats shedding when spring hit. And when the cat sheds, it is rosé season, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. What's new with you? Uh, no. Did you know what today, do you know that like basically every day of the week is a national food day? Yes. Today is National Grilled Cheese Day. Is it? It is. I think I saw something about that, but I didn't pay attention. Okay. Everybody likes a grilled cheese. Everybody likes a grilled cheese. Tell us what you like in your grilled cheese. I like mine with bacon. <laughs> well, of course you do. Caramel. Car oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the caramel crown. Or caramel crown. That's what Robin's drinking today. What are you drinking that with, Robin? Ooh. Mm. Oh, this, it's the salted caramel, right? I think I think I remember that. She's probably drinking it on the rocks. <laughs> I'd be mixing that with a little 7-Up or ginger ale, I think. I don't know. Yeah, a little something. So, all right. <laughs> I'm dying here. Do, do you hear what happened in Georgia yesterday? No. On route, or I'm sorry, Interstate 83, a Bud Light tractor trailer got in an accident, fell over 40,000 40, pounds of Bud Light bottles splattered on Interstate 83 in Georgia. What a what a party foul that is! <laughs> look at that; it's a bad picture, but look at that! All those Bud Light cases splattered everywhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All I can think of is maybe their board out dates were out of date. They gotta get rid of it. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see if any of our Bud Light drinkers out there, Bud Light guys, uh, can let us know a little insight on that. Uh, but, oh, Robin is definitely yeah. drinking that caramel crown straight, she said. <laughs> You're a better woman than me. See, your dog is saying he's it's springtime. He is. He's he's excited. His dad just got home. <laughs> Alcohol abuse. I know, Robin. Really? All those 40,000 pounds of butt light. But imagine the glass that they got to clean up. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. So make sure you check the news, guys, because you're going to see that. But uh, so, okay. My fingers are calloused to the bone from working hard. Oh, and yeah? I noticed that you posted something earlier today about people down in Fort Lauderdale doing signing bonuses for people to come and work. Yes. Can you believe that? That's a great idea, but what if they only show up for a week, take that money and run? Um, I think what they're doing the for Fort Lauderdale, the $450 signing bonus is you will receive it after you have been employed for 90 days. Ah. That way they're guaranteeing employment for 90 days. That makes sense. I mean, but still 90 days for $450. Yeah. 
and you can't get anybody true. to work. I know. That's why my fingers are bruised to the bones. I got calluses. They're I keep gnawing at it. It's terrible. Oh. It's it's terrible. absolutely crazy. It really is. Um I I also was reading that a lot of a lot of restaurants in the area are no longer taking reservations. Because pe people are not showing up for the reservations, they're losing out on money and, the, and these tables. And you have people complaining that, you know, oh my gosh, I can't get a reservation for my party of five. Well, show up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Robin, we love you too. Thank you for joining in. But um, yeah, that's just, it, it's, it's nuts. It really is. But hey, you know, I mean, I... They're also doing, they're giving you money if you can prove you've been vaccinated at certain places, you know? This is insane. <laughs> I read, I read $90 or one of the local places giving you two free hours on your paycheck. So, I mean, if you're a server, that's like five bucks an hour. So you get 10 bucks if you're vaccinated. Yeah. But some places like Publix are doing like $75. Oh. Stuff like that. And then, you know, there's... The Krispy Kreme, they're giving away a donut. And hmm. Sam Adams, this is cool, you guys. If you're vaccinated, get your card or your sticker and you go to hashtag shop for Sam. Show them a picture of your stuff and they will cash out you $7 to use to buy a Sam Adams beer in your local pub. That's kind of cool. And it starts today. They're only doing the first 10,000 people that hashtag this. From today until May 15th or until 10,000 people have been reached. So that's cool. So hashtag shop for Sam if you want a beer. And also like Uber and Lyft, they're giving you free rides to get vaccinated. Nice. Interesting stuff, you know. Yeah, well, for sure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going to go on. But, you know, my rosé is delicious and it's my first one of the season. Oh, very nice. Mm, 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 mm. So, speaking of rosé, you guys, since it is rosé season, you know, it's time to put away our favorite boyfriend, Josh, here, and his heavy Cabernet. Finish off your bottle. That's it. Time to get your rosé. So, I am drinking, currently, a Josh rosé. And it's delicious. Oh. delicious. Nice. Eleven ninety nine, and it's delicious. And I have to say, it's light. And you know what else? It's got a screw top, so I don't have to deal with any of that opener junk. You know? Very nice. So that one's good. And you sometimes you can find it a little bit cheaper certain places. But another rosé that I love is right here. It's the Chateau Saint Michel rosé from Washington State, and that one is only eight ninety nine. And you can drink it all night. It's delicious. Nice. And get yourself some fresh fruit like this. You can freeze it so you can drop it in. And that way you don't have to put ice cubes in. Because it is acceptable to put ice cubes in rosé. Did you know that? Yes, I did. So we got a blueberry, a raspberry, and a blackberry in our rosé. Very nice. Very nice. And if you really, really, well, if you take, you know, if you take your booze bandage and stick it on, then I could suggest dropping little Tito's in your rosé with some fruit. You've got this fantastic, like, sangria, spring sangria, because, you know, unofficial sponsor of Emmy's General Chip. And because, you know, Tito's makes everything better. <laughs> it sure does. We should have, like, that should be our hashtag. Tito's yeah. makes everything better. Yes. <laughs> but the most important rosé of the season is, I'm going to show you the picture and then I'm going to go nuts. This is great. This is our old boy coming back right here with Snoop Dogg Cali Rosé. Yay! Nice. It's not even out yet. I tried today. I couldn't get it anywhere. But in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be out. So Snoop has teamed up with 19, 19 Crimes again. He's got his Cali Rosé. That's also $11.99. But this is what's cool. If you sign into askthedogfather.com. Oh, my gosh. Askthedogfather.com. 
Then you That's scan, great. Scan the label. Like, where did I put my, okay, this is the Snoop Cali Red. So all you do is get your app and you scan the label and this guy will talk to you. But on askthedogfather.com and the Cali Rosé, Snoop Dog has a little, you ask it a question and a little hologram of Snoop comes up on your phone and you can say something like, hey, you know, how do you drink your rosé? And he'll answer you. Nice. Now that's cool. So that's fun. With 19 Crimes Cali Rosé, you guys. It's got a little strawberry note to it and rose petals. Isn't that cute for Snoop? Yes. As a song. Motherfucking Snoop. Sorry, I swear. <laughs> so we've got... There is a ketchup packet shortage. Oh, yeah? Ketchup package shortage. Heinz is reporting to everybody that the ketchup packet prices are up 13% this year because everyone's doing the takeout with the ketchup packets. Yeah. You now you notice everyone's giving you your ketchup in a little, like, souffle with the lid and sending you off on your way. There's no more packets. Yes. So we got a ketchup shortage, you know. You but know. That's okay. You can order pizza. You like pizza? Yeah. You get, if you're in Houston, Texas, today, they start with their new Nanu. I think it's how that you say Nanu. It's new, new. It, it's this little, right here, Nuo. It's this little car, and Domino's has theirs all decorated up. And what that does is you order online and that thing comes to your house and you go out, scan your QR code, the thing opens up, take your pizza and it drives away. Nobody's in it. How crazy is that? That's nuts. It's just, I can't even deal. It's nuts. <laughs> I want to do it so bad just to see that little car pull up. Right? <laughs> but, um, also, you know, today, England, I mean, I'm sure they're probably very sad over, you know, Prince Philip, but today the pubs in England reopen. Oh, very nice. Only if they have substantial outdoor seating, but they are opening today. So that's really good for them. And they can drink their Chandon because I tried to tell you guys last week, Chandon Champagne has new packaging and they're aiming at the millennials with vertical packaging. So hmm. there's the new bottle. I don't know. Does it do anything for anybody? I don't know. Hmm. It's just so crazy for me to think that there are still places where the bars and restaurants aren't open, you know, like open up already. I know. I know it is nuts. We're very, very, very blessed here in uh, Florida that we have a, a a super cool governor that's letting us do our businesses and suing cruise lines and hopefully we'll be cruising very yeah. much. And I read today that the Bahamas celebration, the local small two day cruise outfit out of West Palm beach is saying that you do not need to be vaccinated to get on their boat. Nice. They recommend it, but they don't, you don't have to have it. So that's I think I, I'm not really sure how that works and, probably better just to not get into it <laughs> but i don't i don't think that they can say we have to be vaccinated well i mean aren't there some cruise lines that are saying we do well i think it's up to the business to decide that but like i think it's unconstitutional overall for them to tell us that we can't travel yeah so i'm not i'm not sure what's going to happen with that it's weird but you know yeah. I know you and I, we both love Bahama Celebration, and they will, right now, if you can go on their book, it's buy one, get one free with five free drinks. Nice. Yeah. Who needs the five free drinks? Buy the drink package, for crying out loud. <laughs> but I don't think, if I recall, that boat has the tickets. You know, you have to buy those tickets. Yes, you're right, you're right. So you buy the 10 tickets, and now you get 15. There you go. I know, that's fantastic, so... I know you can book now, and I think it's something like July 10th is their first sailing. And I okay. mean, I'd love to go, but I think I'm going to give it like a month first just to make sure everything is copacetic, you know? Yeah. See how things are working out. 
it's scary. But that owner of that cruise cruise line, he is really vocal on the news that he's doing a good job. Yeah. I like him. <sighs> okay. Here comes the bad news. Uh oh. I have another phrase for you. No. I know. Okay. The new phrase is better for you or healthier for you. Okay. All right. So, okay. Here we go. Gray Goose. Ugh. Gray Goose Essentials. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, Essences. My gosh, this rose is going to my head. <laughs> Grey Goose Essences. And I think that it was, what, two, three years ago that we did those um, botanicals out at the gin mill on Jensen Beach? Yes, I remember that. Kettle so, One made them. You had me try some cucumber martini thing you made. Yeah. Well, Grey Goose is like three years behind, but they've got these essences now, and they're only three carbs or whatever it is, and they've got three different flavors, and they're better for you. Just like Bud Select. Do you remember Bud Select when it came out, like 2005? Yes. Okay, so they're back. They're back on the market. They have reintroduced Budweiser Select. It's got 99 calories, three carbs, 4.3% under ABV, and it is now nationwide, and it is healthier for you to drink Bud Select. That's what they're saying. Hmm. So that's... That's the healthier and White Claw. White Claw is back on the scene, and guess what they have now? Um, what? Iced teas. Okay. Well, summer's hitting. Everybody's gonna try to do the iced tea thing now. Yep. Oh my God, I'm so over it. We got the, the iced teas and the lemonades are gonna be coming on strong. Everything's better for you. Everything's healthier for you. But that's okay. Because McDonald's, which is not healthier for you, is leaving. You know those little annex McDonald's and all the Walmarts? Yes. Gone. Oh, okay. They are leaving town. Sayonara to Walmart. And Walmart is thinking about putting in virtual ghost kitchens in that little spot. Oh, okay. So that's what we got going on. John Taffer really nailed that on the ghost kitchens when he started that. Yeah, for sure. He really did. I'll tell you what. <sighs> I don't even know. So, guys, anyways, how do you feel? I want to know how you feel if you go to a <coughs> bar and your bill comes up with a credit card fee to you. Like, say, 0.005% of your bill is a credit card fee on there. How do you feel about that, Judy? I think it's terrible. <laughs> um, I know that it actually used to be against the law for any company to charge you a credit card fee. That must have changed. I don't know. Um, I know that credit card fees have gone up over the years. I, I don't think that you should charge the customer a credit card fee if you're taking credit cards. If you don't want to take credit cards, don't. Put up a big sign that says cash only. It's pretty I easy. Agree. I agree. Now, I talked to a bunch of people, and somebody that I know that works at a place that does do this, their boss told them, well, tough, then tell them to pay cash. And, like, that, I'd be pissed if I got my credit card, say it's $100. I don't know yeah. what 0.05% of that is, but even if it's $0.40, cents, I'm going to be pissed because me as an owner, I pay a lot of money in credit card fees a year, but I'm not going to take that out on my customers. No, of course not. You know, and then some other bars I saw online, they're making the bartenders pay the fee of all of the credit cards that they sell during their shift. That's it's, awful. It sounds shady to me. It doesn't sound like that's that's legal for some it, reason. It's terrible. I can't believe it's happening, but that is what's going on out there. And, you know, when we start hitting the road in June, if I go somewhere and I see that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on a film. Yeah, I, I just, absolutely. I mean, I understand like walking into a gas station or something and it's saying, you know, in order to use your credit card or debit card, minimum purchase of $10 required. Okay. 
that's sufficient. They don't want to pay the credit card fees unless you're spending a certain amount of money. Okay. Don't charge the customer. But, you know, that is illegal also. You cannot charge, like, say that you have to spend X amount. I know this because my credit card company told me. Yes, I know. You are correct. I said that one's not as bad, though, you know? <laughs> it's terrible. So, you guys, I need People to People should start reporting these places that are doing that. It's horrible. Horrible. Yeah, report report them to the merchant accounts. Yep, Better Business Bureau, maybe. Absolutely. So speaking of money, look at this. This is crazy. So, you know, our, our boy, P. Diddy, he's got that cognac, that champagne cognac called Doucet. Yes. And this one right here is the first of this lot that he had made. It just sold at auction over the weekend for $52,000. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful bottle. It really is. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's amazing. And now this is super cool. Jägermeister. We've got Jäger Cold Brew Mini Meisters. How cute is that? Wow. That is coffee and Jägermeister in a cute little bottle. And you put it in your fridge and you can just you know, throw it back. You get a little Jaegery taste in with your coffee, you know? Okay. Really cute. Really cute. I like it. But that's fun. We've also got Deep Eddies. They're back on the scene. Deep Eddies. Remember the, was it pink grapefruit that everybody liked about a year ago or so? Yep. Actually, I think it was two years ago. I forget. We had this whole COVID year, but. Yeah. This, this deep eddy lime, I actually had it at one of my places last week, and we made it into a cherry limeade with 7-Up and grenadine, and it was awesome. We sold out in one night. Now, isn't deep eddy the sister company of Tito's, right? No, but it is, no? from, it is from Texas. Okay. And it is distilled 10 times, but I forget somebody owns it. and it's, it's Tito's is only Tito's all by himself. That's it. Okay. But I think probably what you're getting, you're thinking is because it is from Texas as well. Maybe. Maybe that was what it was. But, and it's pretty cheap. I mean, Deep Eddie's, you know, you're not going to break the bank buying that. So no. For the spring, you know, with your rosé, you could probably put that in your rosé. Lime in there would be good. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Sounds good to me. But anyways, guys, so summer's upon us. I mean, here in Florida, we've had summer for a little bit longer. But I know in New York, it was 70 the other day, and people are running around. They can take their tops off in New York because that's legal for women. Oh. Oh, yeah. So okay. Get out your rosé. Put away your cabernets. Buy your snoop rosé. And don't forget, askthedogfather.com, and you can ask them a question. And can I take my shirt off in Florida? We'll see what he's got to say. <laughs> Anyways, so that's about it for today. I'm going to go enjoy some beautiful weather. And everybody, have an awesome day. And thank you for tuning in and joining us. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on. And have an awesome week. Cheers. Bye, Judy. Bye. Cheers.